this is really a tremendous boom uh, to science as a result. Um, but notice, of course, what also it does is it does away with the cosmological argument, which is why I didn't really emphasize it. I thought, it, you know, okay, well, I, you know, I could really push it. A lot of people feel like it's really important, but actually, I, I knew ahead of time that David Hume and his critiques of natural religion was going to basically say, you know, how how do you know that there was such a past? Maybe all of time started right this moment. How do you prove that it isn't? You know, <laughs> right? Well, I remember yesterday. How do you know? You know, <laughs> you're stuck, right? So. For as far as this rigorous kind of proof that, that uh, metaphysicians thought that they had, that's gone away. We don't have that anymore because we no longer trust our memory and we realize that memory is essentially the tool that we use uh, to harvest all these, these kind of proofs, right? So that's changed. That makes sleep a lot bothersome. It does. It does. I've been dreaming my whole past. I just woke up today. Well, yeah, we get that with, with all kinds of crazy movies that, that I mean, you know, where did the, the authors of the books and the movie uh, scripts get these ideas from? They get them from philosophers, you know. <laughs> you know, the, you know, the uh, uh, Inception, right? Oh, oh, what a complex movie. You know, <laughs> you know, if you think about it, you know, boy, what a w way to ruin your sleep, you know, as a, if you've ever seen the movie Inception, you know, as, any niches inside niches inside niches, you know, you know, and it, time speeds up uh, in the in the nanoseconds of your memory, uh, so that you know uh, you end up with with uh, a whole lifetime of experience within a few seconds in the mind of the one uh, Japanese entrepreneur that they, they essentially oh, rescue, oh. right? Yeah, they go get him, right? I mean, they, they go get him, and he's like. 90 something, you know, living on a beach, you know, where he's been for a, really a whole lifetime. And they retrieve him, and second by second, he's, psh, and when he wakes up, he's a young man again. <laughs> you know, just think what a crazy, yeah. but you know, a lot of this comes from philosophy. Um, so that's an important point. Uh, let me go back though now and look um, uh, at uh, uh, contiguity in time and time or place. We think of things as, you know, this book and the, and the cup are next to one another. We're all in the same room and so on. But guess what? Uh, if that's all in my mind, all of my ideas are, uh, are, are contiguous, right? And how do I then presume that certain things are actually uh, um, physically co-located or whatever? I can imagine all kinds of things. Um, uh, where this is really going to result in, in a serious change is when we get to Immanuel Kant. Kant realizes that we cannot actually think of things in absolute space as Sir Isaac Newton described it. Uh, so, so we end up moving towards relativity, which was Leibniz. So remember the conflict between Leibniz and Newton. In many respects, of course, the, uh, Sir Isaac Newton's uh, uh, Laws and everything are perfectly fine as they are, but to think of it as a model because it works within some context uh, and problem uh, solving and not in others. Uh, and um, one of the problems where we feel this is especially when we're trying to figure out where this absolute space comes from in the first place. And what Kant's going to give us in response to you is the idea that space and time come from us, that it's a projection from our consciousness on these perceptions, the phenomena that we're experiencing. So in other words, time and space and the fact that things are close to one another or far apart and everything else, that actually comes from us. The idea that things are in time close together or far apart. Um, the, the other class I was talking about this and uh, one of the students who had come back from Iraq, I don't know if, if any of you mm -hmm. uh, were from in, in that, um, he pointed out that you know when the RPG comes flying <laughs> over your head. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, it slows it slows down. Everything slows down, right, and, and, and your sense of, of time. And so you're able to do more in that short period of time. So, so it's almost like inception. I guess that's 
perhaps the kind of experience that leads people to think that inside our minds uh, there is. So it's kind of like the, when they say when you're having fun, time speeds up. Yeah, time goes by faster when you're yeah. having fun. Yeah. Right, right. And, like and it's when I play video games sometimes, like, uh, I feel like I'm playing for like a like for maybe a few minutes, but then I look at the clock and I'm like, wait. It's been two hours. Oh, uh, the hay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that's, you, you would think, we still do commonsensically, mm -hmm. thanks to Locke and, and uh, that materialist kind of, uh, oh, uh, that's embedded in our language. Mm -hmm. You know, the same way that we say the sun rises and sets, right? You know, we don't lose these linguistic forms uh, that are based on a philosophical point of view that academically we've done away with, right? Um, so we think of time as actually out there, you know, that my, my watch is correct, right? You know, the, the, you know there's a Greenwich uh, a clock uh, that basically is, uh, you know, an uh, incredibly accurate atomic clock and, and all the other clocks are based on you know, checking with that every once in a while to make sure that they're actually right and so on. And even so, every once in a while we have to change it because the earth doesn't actually fit our 24 hour, uh, 60, 60 minute, 60 second uh, uh, conception of time. You know, and, and it was actually meant to do that, right? <laughs> so we actually have to add a, a portion of a second or something every so often, what, every four years? I forget how it works. But time becomes a projection from our own perspective and space as well as a response to this. Um, 